All right, guys, welcome to the Limitless Mindset Podcast, episode number five. It's Sunday. I'm in here hanging out today, drinking my bang energy with Dylan. So uh, I had something come to mind today, though, that I wanted to make just a quick episode on for you guys. And that is going to be how the traditional way of thinking, I think, is killing a lot of your guys' businesses and opportunity. Uh, what I see a lot of people do is, is they're always seeking answers, right, uh, for traditional ways of doing things. So I get a lot of people that ask, you know, how did you build your business? What's the answer? Give me the path to point A to point B. You know, um, what did you do from day one to get you exactly there? While there might be some useful information in there, uh, the only problem I ever see with this is that it doesn't, you know, stimulate any new growth or new ideas, basically, when you're trying to go and you know, grow your business, right? So for example, something that may have worked for me, something that may have worked for any other business, you know, uh, at that point in time, doesn't mean that you would not be able to find a better way to do it, right? This is how new ideas are stemmed. This is how new businesses come to fruition. You know, for example, let's just think about Uber, right? Uber is literally one of the biggest, uh, you know, taxi companies, if you want to call it that. Um, I don't know what I guess you would call it as a, you know, transportation company now. And they don't own a single one of their own vehicles, right? Yeah, they're the biggest. They put other taxi companies out of business, you know, because they asked a simple question, right? At some point in time, the owners of this company sat down and said, how can we make, you know, one of the largest transportation businesses without even actually owning anything, right? Think about Airbnb, same thing, right? They are crushing the hotel industry right now by doing something completely unconventional, right? Somebody had to have at some point stemmed an idea and said, you know, I want to do something a little different. There has to be a better way to do this. And so I was thinking about that today. I was going out for my morning run. You guys all know first thing in the morning I get up and, you know, that's when I usually do my thinking. And so, you know, I thought about all the different things, right? Things that I had done well, things that my team does well, things that were kind of breakthroughs for me and things that I do a little bit different than everybody. And the point of that was, was that, you know, I think differently sometimes, you know, I try to really get myself in these spaces where I just ask questions and they're questions that I know I don't know the answers to. And those are my favorite kind of questions, right? Um, They're they're questions that would lead me to have to find a solution uh, that, you know, just, and I just wander, right? I may not know the answer to that. Uh, It may be completely impossible. I don't know. Uh, But, you know, if I got an idea and it's like, hey, I want to do this in the next two years, Uh, This is what I want to do. I may not know the answers. I don't really need to know the answers. I just kind of let things flow in that direction. But it allows for some massive growth. Because, for example, if I ask myself a question that I know the answer to, how big am I really playing at that point, right? If it's like, hey, I want my business to, you know, I want to hit 200 transactions. How how do do I hit it? Well, that's pretty easy, right? I'm going to hit 200 transactions by just doing X amount of deals per month. And I might need to add this many more people to my team if we wanted to do that or within our brokerage. You know, it's pretty easy to reverse engineer that and hit that goal. Those are pretty standard, right? But when you're thinking big, right? um, You know, I had this conversation with one of my friends the other day. You know, he's like, how can I maintain my business and be gone for work, you know, for a month or two? I just want to be completely checked out of my business and have things operate and scale. But I want to run my business from afar I want to, you know, be completely, how do I, how do I have a high touch, high value of being gone for two months? And he doesn't know the answer to that. I don't really know the answer. Um, I challenge him in a way that it's hard to run your business, you know, at the level he's at right now, you know, he's, he's still kind of medium size. Um, it's hard to run that business and have that high touch, high value with your people uh, to, the, to the effectiveness that you need to, but it's totally possible, right? Just asking the simple questions. So, you know, if you guys find yourselves in roadblocks in business, you know, I I wouldn't necessarily go out and seek the answers that you guys know of, right? If you're like, hey, how do I solve this? Let me go find this answer really quick. Uh, While that will serve you in some, some ways, I would say, you know, try to explore different ways. Just ask yourself very open ended questions to your solutions, right? Like, why is it? Why? Just question things, right? Why are, why is this this way? There's something you don't understand. Is there something I'm not seeing? You know, why, why does this take place this way? Is there maybe a better way to do this? And just explore that idea. You know, one of my favorite things to do too, you know, with me is, is I go into this place where, you know, I, I might know an answer, right? And what I've really forced myself to do now in business lately is, you know, when it comes to coaching, when it comes to leadership, when it comes to my team, is I almost force myself to come up with three or four different avenues of, of a solution. And the reason I do that is is because I know myself well enough that I get stuck in these patterns of, okay, I know the answer, I know the answer, I know the answer. But then I almost wonder in some ways how much that hinders me because it's not allowing me the ability to think about other possible ways of doing it better, right? If you know the answer, the easy go-to thing for all of us in life is just to say, okay, I know the answer. Like clockwork, you fall in the routine, you answer it the way you know how to answer it. 
Are you really leaving room though uh, to explore other options and have other ideas? And so that's one thing I would challenge you guys to do. You know, if you come across roadblocks in your business, if you're not where you want to be, if you have something on your mind that you want to get to, you know, ask yourself just open-ended questions. You know, how can I get there? What does it look like? You know, you got to ask the right questions. Try to come up with three to four different solutions now. So even though, again, and maybe the first solution you come up with or the way that, you know, you know how to handle it, maybe that is the best way to do it. But what if you can come up with three or four other ideas? And so that's one thing I've always done. You know, I got my notepad and I'll write down if I have a problem uh, to a business, you know, problem, you know, do I, am I going to have that one thought that comes to mind that I can solve it? Absolutely. You know, I'll, I'll probably, that'll be my go-to, hey, this is how I would solve this. But what I've really been doing now is writing down two to three other solutions to that problem. And you'll find it pretty interesting because you'll have to sit down and really think about that. And I even challenge myself a step further and say, can I come up with one or two more creative ways to do this or solve this problem than the way I usually would solve this problem? And that has tremendously helped me out. And, you know, like I said, sometimes that first solution that I've had, sometimes that is the right answer. And sometimes I'm going to move forward with that. But sometimes I've come up with some other great ideas just by forcing myself to sit down and make myself give myself two to three other solutions to that potential problem. And now you're giving yourself some choices, but not only that, you're making yourself get creative, right? You wanna creatively find a way to solve a problem, a creative way to do something a little bit different. So again, just my thought for the day for you guys, I wanted to keep this short and sweet. Uh, you know, kill the traditional way of thinking, kill the traditional questions you're asking yourself in business and really seek to explore bigger and better ideas from yourself. And again, I want to, you know, make this very clear. Sometimes that first idea you have, you may nail it. That might be the way to go. Nothing wrong with that. But force yourself to give yourself two to three other options to a solution uh, and see what kind of, you know, problems you can solve. See if you can find better ways. See if you can find new ways to do things that other people aren't just because you took an extra five minutes to sit down and write down some other options. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Hopefully you guys are going to have a kick-ass week out there. Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, if you guys got some value from this, I'd love you guys to share this. Uh, get it out there. Tag a friend. Feel free to, like I said, share it with anybody you think that may even be getting stuck in business. Maybe you got somebody that's having a hard time solving problems. Share this with them. See if it's helpful. And thanks so much for listening in, guys. Hopefully you guys have a great week.